The graphic representation off to my right here may look a little innocuous. You may recognize a few words such as coronavirus and as well blocking the virus. But it is quite amazing. This is an attempt at a simple explanation of an amazing outcome in regard to a plant compound commonly known as neem. Now a little bit of a backstory. What the researchers wanted to do is they wanted to take more of a proactive approach in reference to future variants of coronaviruses. So recognizing mutations and diversity and things along those lines, they wanted to see if there's a plant compound that basically can address a common denominator in regard to many different types of SARS-CoV-2. And they may have discovered one. Now keep in mind, this is an animal model and it has to be validated in humans. So in no way is any recommendation being made in reference to consumption, so on and so forth. But the research still just the same is quite amazing. Now, if I read you an excerpt as such from the full study, which I will have links to the full study as well too, so you can re review it on your own, uh, it may make a little bit more sense. But here's an excerpt from the full study. Neem bark extract, NBE, restricts viral host attachment, cell-to-cell -cell fusion, viral spread, viral replication, and viral-induced demyelization induced by MCOV RSA59. Neem bark extract also inhibits herpes simplex virus type 1 glycoprotein mediated cell to cell fusion and paracuocytes formation. Moreover, neem bark extract blocks in vitro virus free cell to cell fusion induced by cells expressed in the MCOV HMHV A59 spike glycoprotein. All right, so let us continue with the public release and it will enlighten you a little bit more in regard to how incredibly amazing this research actually is to proceed. Now keep in mind too, I wanna to reiterate, the links will be there for the full DOI citation, the full study which is published, so you can review on your own. But here we begin. Bark of neem tree may protect against coronavirus variants. Neem research reveals neem-based drugs may help by future coronavirus variants. Now again, even though you heard the word variants a couple of times, that is the attempt to basically determine whether neem in regard to this outcome can basically protect against a large variety of coronaviruses, including the SARS-CoV-2. To proceed, the study reportedly, re the study reported recently in the Journal of Virology showed that components in neem bark may target a wide range of viral proteins suggesting its potential as an antiviral agent against emerging variant variants of coronaviruses, including SARS-CoV-2. There's the proactive approach. Instead of waiting for a variant to emerge, uh, addressing the threat, and then working towards antibody treatments and or new vaccines, what they want to do is take something that was already commonly available in the plant neem and so say, hey, let's see if this can address all of the common denominators in regard to particular variants and therefore help mitigate any potential negative outcome. To proceed, the study report up over that the neem tree indigenous to India has been used for thousands of years for its antiparasitic, antibacterial, and antiviral properties. The bark extract has helped treat malaria, stomach and intestinal ulcers, skin diseases, and many other diseases. Quote, the goal of this research is to develop a neem-based medication that can reduce the risk of serious illness when someone is infected with coronaviruses. To proceed, quote, we hope that scientists won't have to continuously develop New therapies every time a new SARS-CoV-2 variant emerges. Variant. Just like how we take penicillin for strep throat, we envision taking the neem-based drug for COVID, allowing us to resume our normal lives without fear of hospitalization and death. And of course, neem is 
fairly available as it is. So you shouldn't see so much of the challenges that may arise through other types of uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing. But to proceed, the scientists investigated the impact of the bark extract against coronaviruses in their laboratories. In India, researchers tested in animal models and showed that it had antiviral properties against coronavirus. Using computer modeling, the research predicted that neem bark extract will bind to the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein at various locations, preventing virus entry into host cells. Again, utilizing the word reiterate, it has to be conducted in human trials to validate that this type of plant compound can yield similar results. To proceed, the lab tested the neem bark extract in SARS CoV-2 human lung cells. It proved as effective as a preventative drug for infection. It also decreased virus replication and spread after infection. All right, now we are going to delve into the full study, a little bit more technical, but at the same time too, a little bit more exciting. To proceed, when antibodies, vaccines, and repurposed drugs can combat the SARS-CoV-2 outbreak, no therapeutic tools are equally effective against all strains. It may not affect new human coronaviruses that emerge in the future. Thus, pan-beta coronavirus antivirals are needed. Significant inhibitory effects of neem bark extract against two different isolates of SARS-CoV-2 and MCOV present a promising candidate for designing pan-antivirals against beta coronavirus infections. Neem bark extract significantly inhibited viral application, spread, and pathogenesis. Overall, the current findings of the antiviral properties of neem bark extract, both in vitro and in vivo against beta coronaviruses, offer a new premise for restricting viral spread, replication, and fusion associated with pathogenesis. Quoting, end quote, our studies can guide new antiviral therapeutic efforts to combat the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and hold promise for treating the future emergence of new coronavirus strains. Also too, as a side note, now keep in mind, a lot of times I get asked this question, so I want to basically be a little bit proactive in regard to that as well. This is the animal dosaging that they utilize in nasal and of course in consumption. And keep in mind though, and the animal biology is far different than human biology, it gives you at least some perspective or in context of the dosage you're utilizing that it's not so crazy, so to say. But just in the same light, there it is in the animal model itself. Now, also too, you will have the links to the full study as well. But moreover than anything else, it yields a very, very, very promising broad spectrum potential treatment in the future due to a very, very, very common plant compound, another one. In this case, very, very, very promising name. But just the same, and as always, please forgive the new location. Uh, we have to get our bearing, sound may be a little off, lighting obviously as well too. Uh, but still, just the same, I wanted to get the information out to keep things in loop, to keep you informed of some of these great, great, great new, or should great, 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 new promising prophylactics that may yield great benefit in the future and not be so out of reach, which is actually kind of cool, especially for large parts of the world, which sometimes can't afford some of the medications, which are sometimes marketed upon them. But without getting delving into that, let us give gratitude to the researchers and thankfully these researchers are continuing their research, not just basically as things fall out of um, the media limelight, but always, always being vigilant in potential uh, negative, um, how would you describe it, adverse outcomes that can be mitigated with basically tools which are available now and can be readily, readily incorporated on a global scale fairly easily and make things that look kind of scary not look so scary anymore. Again, gratitude to the researchers and I am humbled as always that you watch and as time moves on we'll get a little bit better lighting, a little bit better studio effects, but still just the same information, it's information 
and I'm just grateful that you're here. And I'll catch you all next time. See you next week, or maybe not next week, in a couple of weeks. Catch you next time.